It's been a couple of days since the end of last chance trial for Neo, and I've been experiencing heavy withdrawals because Neo is just so damn fucking good. This is a ramble video, so you gotta excuse me for being incoherent at times. Let's start with let's start with discussing its combat and mainly the three stances. At first, I was like, why would I use this stance like ever? And especially with certain weapons, some stances seemed just useless. But as the time went on, I found myself utilizing all three stances and basically a full moveset. By the end of Last Chance Trial, I was fluxing like motherfucker. As the time goes on, you kind of get to experience all stances and you realize that if you want to be efficient and if you want to play the game the way it was meant to be played, you have to always be switching the stances because at certain situations lower stance is really good basically lower stance is your um shield poke from dark souls 3 uh, it it really boosts your dodge and you get a chance to do like small really fast cuts and then just retreat back and depending on what window you get for an opening uh, you try to like you have to try to use all the stances so heavy stance for example is incredibly good for breaking key and if you have um, if you need to break the key and if you have a really wide opening instead of just relying on uh, medium stance or lower stance you just go into a fucking high stance and just smash it and then when you know that your window is a bit smaller you just go towards the lower stance or if you know that you're planning to kite uh, you're gonna go for lower stance and medium stance is really like it's well rounded but you still prefer you still want to use other stances because in some situations they do just a better job and this applies to actually strangely um all weapons in neo i've played mostly with katana but i tried every weapon and let me start with spears i think spears are much like in real life they're very, very effective. They're insanely effective, but they're like the most boring ones to play with. Then when it comes to katanas, I think katanas have very unique feel in Neo that is somewhat reminiscent of the scent that you get from Ninja Gaiden. The katanas in Neo, well, uh, mainly, like I wanted to say that they play really differently compared to your average Dark Souls game, but is the, the reason to that is that it's really, really fast paced, but we'll talk about it a bit later. But yeah, katanas, I think, are more most versatile ones because you can still break key really fast and guards and shit, and you get a good parry. And in addition to that, you get like thrust moves and you get the draw, which is insanely powerful. But depending on your play style, there are other weapons that are more fun and interesting. Like, for example, Axis. I, I'm honestly amazed by how well Axis work in Neo. Like, I'll be honest with you, Neo, I think, is the first game that nailed it. The way heavy weapons feel in Neo is just amazing. I've been using a lot of high stance with Axis and. You just basically slam things. The risk reward ratio is in fucking check. Yes, these movesets are slower, notably slower, but it doesn't ruin it. It doesn't kill its viability because when it actually lands, it's, it just does a lot of damage. And the, the playstyle you want to use with if you're using axe is just spacing yourself, baiting the hits, and then just capitalizing on that to make sure that your opponent is out of key. I think the surprise weapon for me is Kusari Gamma, which is actually incredibly fun. You know that the feeling like when a lot of games do weapons like that, um, they feel very square in a sense and like you can almost feel that the weapon was intended to be used as a melee and not ranged weapon and even when they try to like mix those two it always it just it it just turns to be very square and it's just not really elegant and I don't know I don't even know how to describe let me just put it this way most games really struggle to implement weapons like that properly but not Neo 
in Neo, the the long range move set, the the Scorpion move, get over here kind of thingy, and the close combat are just seamless. The transitions are seamless, and when you play with it, it's just so damn much fucking fun. Yeah, the dual swords, uh, the two katanas are edgy as fuck, but they seem to play actually very different compared to regular katana. I think it, this it's it's my least favorite weapon, but generally the point I'm trying to make, Neo and Tim Ninja really nailed it because every weapon feels unique. And when you go deeper into it, when you just discover the skill tree, you come to realize that skill tree only reinforces those those basics basically making each weapon feel extremely unique in the playstyle and the way the stats are balanced i think for the most part they're encouraging you to use multiple weapons and switch them on the fly another surprise for me was uh, how well made the ranged weapons are i think it's such a simple thing but very few games do it right in neo it's almost perfect you have a bow that is silent but doesn't do much damage. Then you have a rifle that is extremely loud but does a lot of damage. So if you want to go like full ninja you want to use bow and if you want to go like heavy armor and shit you want to go with rifle. And then there is a cannon and cannon is very immobile but like you have to wait two seconds to deploy it but when it hits it hits like a fucking truck so it's more of like ambush weapon which is just amazing, it is absolutely amazing. And uh, speaking of heavy armor and stuff like that, the stamina management is actually, I think they did extremely good job. It's still not perfect, but I don't think it's gonna be, I don't think I've seen it done better than in Neo, because basically your stamina consumption is tied to the armor you wear. The heavier you go, the more stamina you consume per hit. And this is like really cool idea because if you're using axe you want to have trades, you want to be like up close and you're less focused on dodges obviously because you're mainly using like mid stance and high stance because you want to do the key damage. So you're wearing a lot of armor and this means that flux and the, the uh, key pulls are extremely useful for that. And you get penalized heavily if you fuck it up, so it still requires some skill. And on the the other end of the spectrum, if you go like completely lightweight, you're getting wrecked. You're getting wrecked by like two hits, but then you're playing around being able to dodge and chip the damage and like kite enemies. And because of that, you get lower stamina consumption per hit, which allows you to really just it just I think. The, every system when it comes to combat of Neo just complements each other. It's just really, really fucking well made. So yeah, that's about combat. Now, um, let's talk about loot system. Like, plenty of people don't realize this and plenty of people have been arguing with me. People have been saying, like, Neo is a Dark Souls clone or some shit like that. I think people need to stop. Not every third person RPG that is Japan is a Dark Souls clone. In fact, I think Neo has very few things in common with Dark Souls. Obviously, you can see something something that was uh, copied or other some Dark Souls elements that inspired the Tim Ninja like shrines, aka bonfires from Dark Souls and level design is pretty Dark Souls, but that's about it. I don't think combat has anything to do with Dark Souls, and I don't think anything else has basically anything to do with Dark Souls, and namely the loot system, because the loot system is very Diablo-esque. And what it means mainly, f what, like, what you should pay attention to when I say that, is how min-max-oriented and gear-oriented Diablo was as a game, and partially it applies to Neo as well. This is really weird. I'm getting, I'm getting away from the topic of um, loot system, but let's do it. Because this is actually, I think, the strongest uh, point for Neo, the selling point. Depending on what you prefer, you can play Neo as a Souls game where it's like skill oriented and like learning curve oriented. Or you can play it as grand and gear oriented game. What I mean is that you can beat bosses at level 1 by just studying them and just 
perfecting your gameplay and dodges and just learning the patterns and shit like that, you can beat bosses like that. What you can do on the other hand, you can just min-max the shit out of your gear and farm some better gear and just stomp the boss. So it basically offers you two approaches. And they're not necessarily... Um, there's not not necessarily one of them is easier than the other because farming gear requires skill as well because you have to kill um, higher level enemies you have to battle yokais that are fucking jacked so it still requires some skill but they offer two different paths which I think is very very fucking amazing so yeah let's get back to the loot this is basically min max heaven I think I've seen items have billion fucking affixes and it matters and I think it, it's gonna matter in the end and if you're like enjoying if you love the Diablo games where you like grind the gear what you want like collect the sets and just when you want all these pieces to to build your character and you just think it's gonna be a game for you and what it's it's very funny how well it incorporates those Diablo elements but while still maining, maintaining the Ninja Gaiden kind of gameplay. It's really weird, but I think... I can say this, I think Neo is best Diablo clone since Borderlands. It just makes it stylish. It's a very stylish game, you know? Because the movesets are very elegant. And part of like your obsession, part of the reason why you want to play it is because it's so damn stylish. But then if you like grinding for gear, then this is your another part why you want to keep going. So it's just very, very interesting mix that I don't think we have seen like before. So yeah. Now, um, another thing I wanted to talk about is that from the last chance trial, I kind of can see how the game is going to pan out. Basically, uh, we got like one mission for last chance trial. That, the, that was uh, Ogress mission, whatever it's called, Lily something something, and we got one duel. And I think the game is gonna be like that. So you basically beat a, a stage, you clear the stage, and if it's a, st like, let's assume it's a story, uh, story mode stage. You clear it, it has like cutscenes and set pieces and stuff. So basically it just goes, follows the story. And then as soon as you finish, you get a side quest, like the Ogress mission from the Last Chance Trial, and then from time to time you get challenged for duels like from the last uh, chance trial to get a better gear and so basically like as soon as you finish mission you get like two three stages open to you and you can choose whichever you want to wh whatever you're going to want to go whichever stage you want to pick and i think this is actually pretty cool now the weakest part of neo and i think the part that disappointed me the most uh, is the fact that there's no actual hub like, you get a starting location, the blacksmith and shit like that, but it's just a menu. It's a menu on the map, there's no way for you to try gear and fool around in, in some safe place. And I can see them being limited when it comes to resources, so they couldn't make it, but... I think this is the most disappointing part of Neo, and I think it's gonna turn um, some people away from it. But yeah, if it had like a hub like Nexus from Demon Souls, I think it would have been billion times better. But we, we got a menu, so this is what we get. I don't think it's gonna be enough to ruin a game, but it certainly is not really user friendly because you have to boot a stage to check the gear, check your skills in action. Although now that I think of it, um, I think you can access the training mode from the map so at least there's that so yeah i think overall neo is probably the best game i've seen since demon souls and as long as story doesn't disappoint as long as it doesn't turn like into something weird mid game as long as it doesn't go full retard on me as long as it's not a five hour game which is really weird i mean story for five hours i think it's gonna be absolutely fucking great game now, another thing I wanted to talk about is PvP. Honestly, I'm not sure how they're gonna make it. Mainly because, like, there's one really good reason that I don't think anyone's gonna argue against. is the fact that game... I think this is great, but this is gonna backfire on them. The game offers you three modes when it comes to performance. 
it offers you 1080p at 30 fps it offers you 1080p at unlocked fps and it offers you just hd 720p at 60 fps i have no fucking clue how they're gonna balance it in pvp because i can tell you this that 60 fps guys are gonna have advantage over 30 fps guys just no doubt about it so i'm not really sure but when it comes to actual implementation I, I, I can see them uh, implementing Arena where you just bottle people in 1v1 or maybe 2v2s and I can actually see how they can implement invasions because for those of you that don't know um, there are enemies on Twilight maps stages that summon basically there are like bloodstains in Neo and you can touch the bloodstain and summon the person that died there and you get to fight them and you get to get their gear and there are enemies that summon these guys so technically if they want to give us invasions they can give us an item that basically turns all the bloodstains into invaders so when you like use it you just go into invasion mode and when somebody stumbles upon those enemies that summon these guys you're gonna get summoned so yeah this is also possible i'm really excited to see what they do with pvp but even then outside of uh, pvp there is a co-op which is very convenient for it and i think it's gonna be really fun to i can see myself grinding some dungeons and levels and shit with my friends so i'm really looking forward to it but yeah I, i'm just really genuinely surprised i was really hyped for neo before i tried the, the trial but after i did try the fucking trial um, i'm just as hyped as i've ever been so you yeah, guys let me know what you think about uh, the last chance trial what you think about neo whether you'll be buying it or not thank you for watching and oh, see